So to honor those heroes is a man who I know to be a hero in this community, who I've seen do a lot of work long before you called him mayor. Can you please help me welcome Mayor Mark Holland. It's an honor also to be here today on September 11th. September 11th is one of those days that we all remember where we were when that happened. Um, though I said that to my children the other day, and they're like, yeah, we don't remember where we were. Um, because it was 13 years ago, which is hard to believe. It seems like it was yesterday. But I remember I was walking into the church uh, for work, and there was a group already there pulling a television into the office to start watching what had happened. And I, my first question was, well, now we're watching TV in the office? What's, what's going on? And the, they said there was a great tragedy. The, the airplane had flown into the World Trade Center. And so as we're watching it, like all of us did, uh, gassed around the country and around the world, um, we saw live the second airplane come in. And we knew at that moment, we all knew instinctively that something very different was at hand. This was no accident. That something was happening. And then learning about another plane in Pennsylvania and another plane at the Pentagon. Learning about how um, groups around the world are working um, not to unite, but to divide. Uh, we would be well to remember also, it's not just groups outside this country that seek to divide. We might remember Timothy McVeigh, um, a homegrown terrorist, uh, who blew up one of our own federal buildings in Oklahoma City. These kinds of acts are humbling times when we remember um, that our many of the things that we stand on in our country um, are very fragile. And the thing that came out of that day of September 11th, as we saw the uh, local men and women on the fire and police departments in New York respond, many of them losing their lives, as we saw the wars that unfolded in our, in our world afterwards, um, in trying to respond to this intractable idea of terrorism, as we've seen men and women from our community go forward to serve and uh, answer that call in both Afghanistan and Iraq, <coughs> 9-11 has become a symbol for service, and it's been named a National Day of Service. I think it's very appropriate that today for United Way, we're here on September 11th, the National Day of Service, to see what we can do, how we can be heroes in our own community. I think the opportunity that we have to bind together as a community, to remember 9-11, and to remember, if we can, that very authentic outpouring of patriotism, that in my lifetime I had never seen before. I, I had seen a lot of expressions of patriotism, some that seemed inauthentic. But after September 11th, I saw and witnessed a level of patriotism of Americans coming together, uniting, in a way that I had never seen in my lifetime before. If we can recapture that moment today, uniting as a people, honoring our heroes, <coughs> and working to be heroes ourselves in the way that we align our resources to give to the least fortunate in our community. We all have an opportunity to be heroes today. And that heroic act, um, each one of us individually isn't going to change our community. But I guarantee all of us in this room, contributing our resources in a way that's aligned with the purposes of United Way, gives us a chance to make a broad impact. And also the influence we have with our families and our coworkers to encourage them to do the same thing and let that message spread. All of us are here today to live united on behalf of Wyandotte County. And that's a message we need to continue to share. And I want to thank everyone here for your contribution and your commitment to our community. As I close today, I'd like to close with a moment of silence uh, to remember those who lost their lives in 9-11 to remember our heroes who went and fought wars on our behalf in Afghanistan and Iraq, especially those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. And I'd also like a moment of silence for the men, women, and children in Wyandotte County today who do not have enough to eat, who do not have the programs and services they need to live their lives fully, and who are in need of the outreach of United Way agencies, of the faith community, of all of us together. Following the moment of silence, the next voice you will hear will be Reverend Rick Behrens, my friend and colleague, um, who will offer a prayer um, following the moment of silence. Let us be in an attitude of prayer together.
Amen? Amen. I uh, spent some time yesterday writing a beautiful prayer for today. Uh, great, poetic, theologically astute prayer. But in the spirit of today's, <laughs> of today's uh, proceedings, I would like to uh, offer a different one and ask you to stand and join me in a camp song that I learned a long time ago. It's called The Superman Blessing. And you can repeat after me, all right? It goes like this. Thank you, Lord, for giving us food. 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 Thank you, Creator. Thank you, Creator. Thank you, Redeemer. Thank you, Redeemer. Thank you, Sustainer. Thank you, Sustainer. Amen. Spirit, inspire us to live united and to give heroically of our time, our talents, and our treasure. Amen. <laughs>